every psychological therapy explained. Psychoanalysis and Psychodynamic Therapies Psychoanalysis and Psychodynamic Therapies focus on uncovering unconscious thoughts and motivations. These approaches explore early childhood experiences and their impact on current behaviors. Therapists guide clients to gain insight into deep-seated patterns and conflicts, often through techniques like free association and dream analysis. These therapies typically involve long-term treatment with multiple sessions per week. The goal is to resolve unconscious conflicts and improve self-understanding. Psychodynamic therapy is a shorter term variant that applies similar principles but with a more focused approach. Behavior therapy. Behavior therapy is based on the principle that behaviors are learned and can be modified. This approach focuses on observable actions rather than internal thoughts. Therapists use techniques like reinforcement, punishment, and exposure to help clients change problematic behaviors. Behavior therapy is effective for issues such as phobias, OCD, and addiction, emphasizing measurable changes in behavior. Common techniques include systematic desensitization for phobias, where clients are gradually exposed to feared stimuli, and token economies for reinforcing positive behaviors. This therapy often involves homework assignments to practice new behaviors outside of sessions. Cognitive therapy. Cognitive therapy centers on identifying and changing negative thought patterns. Therapists work with clients to recognize distorted thinking, challenge irrational beliefs, and develop more balanced perspectives. This approach emphasizes the connection between thoughts, feelings, and behaviors, teaching clients to become aware of their thought processes and modify them for better emotional outcomes. Cognitive therapy is particularly effective effective for depression and anxiety disorders. Techniques include cognitive restructuring, where clients learn to identify and challenge negative thoughts and behavioral experiments to test the validity of beliefs. Humanistic therapy. Humanistic therapy emphasizes personal growth and self-actualization. This client-centered approach focuses on the present moment and encourages self-exploration. Therapists create a supportive environment to help clients develop a stronger sense of self and make meaningful life choices. Humanistic therapy is particularly useful for issues related to self-esteem, identity, and personal fulfillment. Key concepts include unconditional positive regard, where therapists offer non-judgmental acceptance and empathic understanding. This approach aims to help clients tap into their inner resources and potential for growth. Integrative or holistic therapy. Integrative therapy combines elements from various therapeutic approaches to create a tailored treatment plan. This flexible method recognizes that no single approach works for everyone. Therapists draw from different theories and techniques to address the unique needs of each client, considering their mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual well-being. This approach is adaptable to a wide range of psychological issues. Integrative therapists might combine cognitive techniques with mindfulness practices or incorporate body centered approaches with traditional talk therapy. The goal is to provide comprehensive treatment that addresses all aspects of a person's life. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy merges cognitive and behavioral approaches, focusing on the interplay between thoughts, feelings, and actions. This structured therapy helps clients identify and modify negative thought patterns and behaviors. CBT equips individuals with practical skills to manage symptoms and improve functioning. It is time-limited and goal-oriented, often involving homework assignments between sessions. CBT is evidence-based and effective for a wide range of issues including depression, anxiety, and PTSD. Techniques include thought records to track and analyze negative thoughts and behavioral activation to increase engagement in positive activities. Dialectical Behavior Therapy, DBT. Dialectical Behavior Therapy combines cognitive behavioral techniques with mindfulness practices. DBT teaches four key skills, mindfulness, distress tolerance, emotion regulation, and interpersonal effectiveness. This approach helps clients manage intense emotions, reduce self-destructive behaviors, and improve relationships. DBT typically involves both individual therapy and group skills training sessions. Originally developed for borderline personality disorder, it's now used for various issues involving emotional dysregulation. DBT emphasizes the balance between acceptance and change, helping clients accept themselves while working towards positive changes. Eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, EMDR. 
EMDR is a specialized therapy designed to help individuals process traumatic memories. During sessions, clients recall distressing experiences while engaging in bilateral stimulation, typically through guided eye movements. This process aims to reprocess traumatic memories, reducing their emotional impact. EMDR can be effective for treating PTSD and other trauma-related disorders. The therapy follows a structured eight-phase protocol, including history taking, preparation, assessment, desensitization, installation, body scan, closure, and reevaluation. EMDR is based on the adaptive information processing model, which posits that trauma disrupts normal information processing. Family Systems Therapy Family Systems Therapy views psychological issues within the context of family relationships and dynamics. This approach considers how family patterns, roles, and communication styles contribute to individual problems. Therapists work with multiple family members to improve understanding, communication, and overall family functioning. It's particularly useful for addressing relationship conflicts and family-wide issues. Techniques include genograms to map family relationships, reframing to view problems from different perspectives, and enactments to practice new interaction patterns. The goal is to create a more balanced and functional family system. Gestalt therapy. Gestalt therapy emphasizes personal responsibility and focuses on the present moment. This experiential approach encourages clients to become more aware of their thoughts, feelings, and bodily sensations. Therapists use techniques like role playing and guided imagery to help clients gain insight and develop a more integrated sense of self. Gestalt therapy aims to increase self-awareness and personal growth. The empty chair technique is a classic gestalt method where clients engage in dialogue with aspects of themselves or others. This therapy emphasizes the here and now and helps clients take responsibility for their choices and experiences. Narrative therapy. Narrative therapy is based on the idea that people's lives and identities are shaped by the stories they tell about themselves. Therapists help clients identify and rewrite negative or limiting narratives in encouraging them to view their experiences from different perspectives. This approach empowers individuals to create more positive and empowering life stories, separating themselves from their problems. Techniques include externalization, where problems are viewed as separate from the person, and identifying unique outcomes, where exceptions to problem-dominated narratives are explored. Narrative therapy helps clients recognize their strengths and resources. Solution-focused brief therapy, SFBT. Solution-focused brief therapy is a goal-directed approach that emphasizes finding solutions rather than analyzing problems. Therapists help clients identify their strengths and resources, set clear goals, and develop strategies to achieve them. This short-term therapy focuses on creating positive change in the present and future, often using techniques like the miracle question to envision desired outcomes. SFBT is typically completed in fewer sessions than traditional therapies. It emphasizes clients' resilience and capacity for change, focusing on what's working rather than what's not. Scaling questions are often used to measure progress and set concrete goals. Art therapy. Art therapy uses creative expression as a means of exploring emotions, reducing stress, and promoting self-awareness. Clients engage in various art forms such as drawing, painting, or sculpting guided by a trained therapist. This non-verbal approach can be particularly helpful for those who struggle to express themselves verbally or process complex emotions. Art therapy can uncover unconscious thoughts and feelings through creative processes. It's useful for a wide range of issues including trauma, depression, depression, and anxiety. The focus is on the process of creating art rather than the final product, with therapists helping clients interpret and reflect on their creations. Mindfulness-based therapy. Mindfulness-based therapies incorporate meditation and mindfulness practices to help individuals develop greater awareness and acceptance of their thoughts and feelings. These approaches, including mindfulness-based stress reduction, MBSR, and mindfulness-based cognitive therapy, MBCT, Teach clients to observe their experiences without judgment. Mindfulness-based therapies are effective for managing stress, anxiety, and depression, often involving regular meditation practice and mindful awareness exercises. MBSR typically involves an eight-week program with weekly group sessions and daily home practice. MBCT combines mindfulness techniques with cognitive therapy principles to prevent relapse and recurrent depression. These approaches aim to cultivate a more balanced and accepting relationship with one's thoughts and experiences. Other therapeutic approaches. While the therapies described above represent many of the most widely practiced approaches, the field of psychotherapy is vast and diverse. 
Other notable methods include acceptance and commitment therapy, ACT, which combines acceptance and mindfulness strategies with commitment and behavior change techniques. Psychodrama uses guided dramatic action to examine problems or issues, while music therapy leverages the power of music to address emotional, cognitive, and social needs. Eco-psychology explores the relationship between human health and the natural environment. Somatic therapies, such as sensorimotor psychotherapy, focus on the connection between the mind and body in processing and healing from trauma. Positive psychology emphasizes strengths, virtues, and factors that help individuals and communities thrive. Additionally, many culturally specific healing practices and traditional medicine approaches contribute to the global landscape of mental health treatment. As research in psychology and neuroscience advances, new therapeutic modalities continue to emerge, each offering unique perspectives and tools for addressing mental health and personal growth.